Hi, big keepers. Don't quite know how to word this. When you start beekeeping, everything's new, fresh, clean. A year passes, two years passes, you really enjoy this, you get more equipment. You buy more equipment, stuff accumulates. Stuff that was new three years ago still looks pretty good, but it's not as new now as it was then. More time passes, like me, it begins to look worse and worse until after decades have gone by. You've got a lot of old equipment. No doubt some people are saying, why doesn't he paint that stuff? Why is he videotaping something that needs maintenance? Well, it's just, it's just constant. It's just constant. There's always a box that's needy. And yes, those boxes always have 10 frames. Each of those are needy. When I was a young beekeeper, I was clearly taught that this is miraculous, this is reusable, this is one of the advantages of modern beekeeping, was that the comb is used over and over again, and we're able to take off surplus honey because the bees were not required to build that comb every time that they had to store honey. And then as the years passed, decades passed, scientists began to say, well, that comb is like the colony's liver it absorbs the toxins from their world, either human-made or either naturally occurring toxins, and it begins to accumulate. Shouldn't be using that comb have nearly as long as we thought. So yes, they're probably right. Yes, we probably should not be doing it. And yes, I have trouble implementing that plan because you have to take a piece of comb that's highly attractive to the bees and you have to destroy it in some way. More and more, destroying it and repairing it now is as much work, more work, more money, more time, than just replacing it. And I just despise throwing it away. We discuss combs that have just aged, but increasingly I accumulate combs like this one that's filled with pollen from a colony that died during the winter. I mean, that frame has a remarkable amount of weight to it. And I don't know if the bees are ever going to clean it out. I mean, what a vast amount of work it would be to dis dispose of all this old caked pollen in there. Beekeepers, this may be one of those times when it's best just to take the hive tool, scrape this down, pressure wash it off, and, and recoat it with molten beeswax, should that be what you choose to do, or as Kim had suggested in our podcast, maybe you just want to toss it, dispose of it in a proper landfill. I'm ashamed to tell you, I'm embarrassed to tell you, that these combs like this, that have problems with them, get tossed, get in the way, I'm a one-man band, I am never short of some excuse for why I'm slovenly, but I've noticed that if this comb lays out in the sun, for a few months that you can just peel that right off. It comes back and you're down amazingly so back to a fairly solid sheet of foundation. Increasingly I'm suggesting that a pressure washer should probably be in your life because it's going to be very helpful in cleaning up extracting equipment and now for brushing down these these uh, foundation inserts so you can recoat them if you are of the type personality that you want to replace this stuff so that you can recoat it and have the bees rebuild it. Apparently they would go right back on it. So this sheet of foundation that was laying over in the trash there's nothing wrong with it. It's an insert and it's still good to go except it's just remarkably dirty and unkept. So I'll do what I can to clean that up, make that work. What do you do with things like this? Where the bees really, really didn't want to work this plastic frame, so they kind of made a mess of it, and then you're stuck with this. In my perfect world view of beekeeping, all the frames are beautifully drawn, all the frames are snow white, all the frames have just a few amounts of drone comb, and everything looks great. In reality, beekeepers, we get a remarkably 
a uh, significant number of frames that looked like this. They just didn't work out. Weak flow, weak colony, bees were not inclined to build home. Bees didn't like plastic frames the first time around. So something needs to be done with these. Either we recycle these or we toss them. You're wondering why I don't stop and let that airplane pass and do this all over again because every time I cut a video segment for you, something flies overhead. So a lawnmower and an airplane have to be considered ambient noises now in the world of videotaping. So what I'm saying to you, in case you haven't realized it already, if you keep bees long enough, you accumulate crud. And what we were trying to talk about in this podcast that we presented is what do you do with that crud? How do you handle it? As simple as tossing it into a proper landfill all the way down to rebuilding and doing whatever it takes to refurbish that so it can be a proper frame for another five to ten years before some other decision has to be made about it. It's just an aspect of beekeeping. It's an aspect of mature beekeeping. For those of you who've just started and been doing this probably five years or less, you don't have this to deal with. But if you keep it doing it long enough, it'll come your way. Clean it up, use it again, get rid of it. You and the bees work together to keep this process going along as smooth as possible. Thank you for watching this video moment.